Hey Edgeforians, um, this video is going to cover um, some things that you need to do to set up your test for text to speech to work correctly. Um, obviously, when you have images embedded in a question, the text to speech reader doesn't recognize the images as text. And so we need to set those questions up. Um, to read correctly. So we're going to look at how to do that. Let me just close this test summary. So this is new, a little squirrel here, um, but I can actually close that test summary to give you a full page for your questions. I don't know if y'all know that or not. That was new um, a couple of weeks ago, back in February. Um, they released that, so it's pretty cool. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to close that so we're working with a full screen here. And I'm going to go over to the administration tab. You can see this is question number one. Um, and I have several images embedded in this question. Um, so we're going to go over to the administration tab and I'm going to preview this and read it the way it would sound if I don't format the text for those images. Alejandra bought of a pound of peanuts, of a pound of cashews, of a pound of almonds. So you, Alejandra bought of a pound of peanuts, of a pound of cashews. Of so you can see that it is skipping over these fractions because they are embedded as images. Um, it would also skip over the number line here that um, is available for students as a resource if um, if you don't format this number line to be read. And so we're gonna look quickly at how to do that, how to format those images to be read um, on the assessment. So let me just close the preview. I'll go back to my questions. And it's pretty easy. I'm just gonna click on the pencil to edit the question. I am going to double click on a fraction and then I'm going to tell it what I want it to say. And I know that for fractions, it varies per subject and grade level what can be read. Um, like in science, this could be read as two thirds, but in math, it would be need to re read as two over three because you have to recognize that it's two thirds. Um, and so we're going to say that for this one, it is two over three. And I'm just going to click OK. I'm going to double click on three fourths and I'm going to say three over four. OK. Do the same for each of these. I had to pick one with like a bunch of images for y'all. <laughs> It's going to take a minute. Sorry, I should have picked one with one, one image. Um, it's okay. We're practicing. Five over six. Um, and again, that's not how we would say it if we were, you know, saying it in normal terms. But if you're, you know, you would type it as two-thirds or three-fourths. Um, but if you're using, you know, the STAR guidelines for oral administration, um, you can't read the fraction as a fraction. You have to read it as 2 over 3, 3 over 4, 7 over 10, 5 over 6. Um, the other thing I want to look at is this number line here. So I have to be kind of careful how I type this. Um, if I was, obviously I just want it to read, you know, 0 and 1, and I may not even want it to read that. Um, it's a little different in science and social studies. You could, they can read all those um, images that they do. Um, I just want to kind of go over this one, though, because it will read it exactly how I type it. So if I type um, 0 space 1, it's going to read it 0, 1, just like that, 0, 1, because that's what I've typed. Um, if I want it to pause between the zero and the one, I'm actually going to put a period and a space between the two, and then it will pause just like it would if it was starting a new sentence. So zero, pause, one, um, which actually sounds better. So you have to kind of think about that stuff um, when you're formatting those images to be read. Um, and so again, if I go back to the administration tab now, and I preview this. 
Alejandro bought two over three of a pound of peanuts, three over four of a pound of cashews, seven over eighth of a pound of almonds, and five over six of a pound of walnuts. As accurately as possible, place these fractions on the number line below. Zero. One. So you can hear the pause between zero and one. Um, that's because I put that period in that space between them. Um, so kind of think about that when you're doing like images on the social studies test um, that you would want to put, you know, a period and a space between words sometimes to give it some pause. Um, think of a Venn diagram. You wouldn't want it just to, you know, run it all together if it's reading the three words or four words or whatever in a Venn diagram. Um, you would want to put a period and a space between. So kind of play with that spacing um, to make sure it reads it correctly. And then again, you can just preview the test um, to see how it's going to be read. So an important thing to know is reading passages or any item set up as a resource item type. So if I'm building a reading test and I have reading passages that are set up as a resource item type, those will not be read by text-to-speech because on the STAR test, reading passages cannot be read. Um, and so just kind of keep that in mind. If an item type is a resource, it will not, you cannot have it read. Um, and so just for an example, if I add a resource on here, and let's say that my resource title is A, and my question text is A, this would just pretend this is a resource. I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to add questions to that, um, you know, link questions to that resource. So this is the first question that goes with that resource. Um, I'm going to add, again, those questions on there. It will read the questions, but it so it would read this question, but it would not read this resource. So anything that's on your test that is under this resource item type is not going to be read uh, by text to speech. Um, and so that would be true of any resource that you're pulling out of the item bank um, as well. And so let me go here. Let me add. Oh, they already have it on there. Good. Okay, so let me go on and add a resource, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if I go to search my item bank, and I'm pulling questions out of the resources tab, so questions that are linked to a reading passage, again, the reading passage would be read, uh, would not be read, excuse me, but the um, questions themselves would be. There we go. So we'll just add all these on there to test. And then if I go again to the administration tab and I preview that, what it looks like, you can see again the reading passage is text to speech disabled and the questions themselves, you know, are able to be read. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, and we'll go ahead real quick and format, you know, a social studies diagram, and I'll show you what I'm talking about with spacing. Um, let me go here. Let's add eighth grade social studies. Okay. And... We'll search the item bank. Many, many, many of the items off the release star um, are images, um, not resources, but images. Um, and so keep, keep that in mind when you're adding those release star test questions to um, test that you actually have to format those images to be read. So this, for instance, right here um, would be an image um, that you, according to STAR guidelines or administration guidelines, these images can be read. So you would actually need to format the alt text for those um, in order for those this part of the question to be read. So again, you would just click Edit, double-click on the image, um, you can drag that up and you can just start typing this. And again, I would do the first statement 
um, and then comma, space, the second statement, comma, space, and the third space, uh, third statement, comma, space um, in there so that it reads it appropriately. Um, so anyway, you would need to format the alt text for that. Anything that you can, you know, kind of double click on or that looks like an image, you have to format the alt text or else it's not going to read that list um, to the students. So just a heads up on that. Um, but that is how you format the alt text. That is how you enable it to read images is you actually have to type in the text that you want it to read. Alrighty. Thank you.